Yeah, I know. Come on. Now you know what I should do, actually, too. Put his bandage on. Yep. Good shit. There it is. Okay. So now, real quick, before I continue, let me run back to my walker. Because we're in a pretty good spot right here. There's three Ripu villages right next to us. So it'll be easier to uh, build. Um, let me open storage. doing just one wing oh although you need seven fiber weave for each one okay well we'll man it just to get the, the quest out of the way when the moon eclipses the sun you will see the energy that nourishes life it is all and now is left we will try to drag out one of these Rupus at a time. Although there's a shit ton of them. I really don't even know how I'm going to do this. There's a lot more than I thought there was. We'll, we'll take the shaman on first in hopes that he gives us his weapon. Oh, shit. He did. Look at that. I don't know if this uh if the game is nicer than it used to be, but um it used to not be that easy to get the fucking malls and shit, but hey, if it's easier now, fuck it, why not? See that wasn't twelve minutes. I don't know. I don't know what's up. Come on. You coming after me? I was about to say, are you guys coming after me? Y'all just staying in there. I'd really rather just fight you guys and get it over with. And see, that's kind of where I was talking about the whole... You gotta be really careful fighting a bunch of them comes into play, because... So... It gets rather interesting once you start taking on a whole bunch of them. But getting them all from him was pretty awesome. And I was just talking about that too, the having luck when you fight these fucking guys. Um, what the fuck does it want? Oh, world map, probably. Yeah, I'm here. So... You see the decay meter, it says decays in 21 days. Um, that's how long this world will be here. And then obviously you can see the rest of the worlds, and then obviously you go up further. You can see how long each world has for its survival, and how long it has left. Obviously some of these places have only a couple days left. I think the longest it can have is like 20 days. I don't think anything more than that can be found although I'm pretty sure judging by that it wants me to just go to the next area with the walker I have
Um, I was about to say, where the fuck's the weapons and shit? The Dean Axe. Shaman. Maybe we'll give us another one of these malls. Although that would be way, way too coincidental. Get that urn open, buddy. Beat stick, wooden staff, fiber, wood, primitive bandages. Okay, I'll take all that stuff. Okay, well, <clears throat> I guess this is the time where I'm going to be forced to make the decision whether or not I want to stay here or leave and go to the next oasis. Crap, I only got two? That fucking sucks. Alright, well, let me run back over fucking here and get the rest of them. <clears throat> For you guys, though, I'll probably just jump through this and then I'll come back when I'm done killing all these fucking Rupu and actually have what I need. Let me just toss this in there. Just fill the water skin up real quick before I go continue on. Put all the cactus in there. Alright, let's go get some more fiber. <coughs> Come on then. Big swings, big swings. Is that all? 
There's no big shaman here. Oh yeah, there is. Fantastic. Like that outcome. Oops. <coughs> Damn. Not doing so hot at getting the fuck in this place, am I? Holy shit. Alright, we're getting defeated right now. Damn. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Come on. Get in the fucking house. Okay, fuck that house. You used to just be able to fucking get close enough and then you could <coughs> crawl in like you can on the walkers. Guess that's changed too. Alright, let me try this a fucking again. There we go. Look at that. The fucking swing actually happens. You do get a lot more fibers than what I remember. Or not fibers, uh fragments for a lot more different things seems like fragments are a little more simplified than they used to be okay so one thing I will research before I get too invested into any decision upon what I'm gonna do is gonna be a pickaxe because I am not about to oh, I guess I can update some player stuff do that all right five five and five and then I'll get this to ten um just no B? No, no, no. It was B, wasn't it? No, it's not. Ah, there it is. Okay, so crafting. It's not it. Tools. That is it. Foraging pouch. Durable water sack. Improvised water sack. Earth wax. Fiber hide. Okay, so that is kind of the one I, I would go with. Simple pickaxe. Yep, there it is. Simple pickaxe. So we are going to do the simple pickaxe to make life easy for us. Actually, fuck. Maybe I need to hold off on that. <coughs> Maybe we do need to go to the, the different area. I kind of was, like, gonna skip going for, uh, just on the off chance that I could skip some of the bullshit, but I guess we'll just use this bad boy to get where we need to go. 
and there's nothing really wrong with it. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess it's what we're, that's what the plan is then. Just to go to a different area. So, I could go down. I kind of do want to go visit this, though. Maybe that's what I'll do first. I'll go visit the Walker crash site. And then from there, we'll move on to a different oasis. Because I still would like to visit the Walker crash site. Just to see if this is the same <coughs> place as what it was previously. Oh, shit. Run, because you just got trapped by and now comes whether or not I'm actually going to be able to survive this. Ah, run. Like I said, you don't want to try to take on a whole bunch of them at once, but, you know, somebody was like, oh, let's just run through the fucking center of the camps. Yeah, real fucking smart, Jacob. Damn. Fucking got him. Okay, maybe I'm not as bad off as I thought I was. Alright, let's take the net off. That's kind of like the only thing you really have to worry about with the Ruku is the fucking nets. And as far as the walkers are concerned, the flipping the fuck over is the other thing you have to worry about with them. Oh, damn. Alright, we'll be first time getting downed. wasn't really expecting that one, but I also wasn't expecting for my walker to roll the fuck over either, so. Okay, get down the fucking hill for a little bit. I know at least one of them is chasing me. No? Okay. I need to go flip my walker. And get the fuck out of here. Come on, flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Oh, shit. It's stuck. The world sucked my walker up. should be able 
to flip the walker in peace. Although I'm pretty sure you have to hold it until the bar goes all the way up and then it flips itself. Yep. Okay. Bye. Alright, let's try not to flip it again for the third time. And now you guys can probably see why I do not like using the Flyerfly Walker. It is my least favorite of the walkers. Obviously, it's the easiest to acquire since you are forced to build it in the beginning. But it is, in my opinion, the hardest to control, the worst mobility, and just kind of all around a pain in the ass. It is the same thing. Awesome. So we'll be able to get quite a few little uh, points before we move out. Now what I'm about to show you guys is something that I got taught way back when I first played the game. So it'll probably, I'm, I'm probably be missing a couple little pieces, but I doubt it's going to be a shit ton that I'm missing. It'll probably be very few and far between of what I'm actually not remembering. So. Actually, maybe I'll just go straight up to it instead of trying to fuck with these tiny <coughs> little areas. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, no, it's not a guy. That's a guy. Although, it's an, it's an AFK guy. Away from the keyboard. Goodbye. Alright guys, so what I'm about to show you guys, it's not really hidden, it's very, I mean obviously it's not, it's just sitting right in the center of the initial starter world, but it is still here, so I will show you all how to do this beautiful little thing to get yourself a shit ton of fragments in a very quick time. Now, like I said way back when, when I first started playing this game, I came here and there were some people sitting here, as there is one person right now sitting here, and there is a way, <coughs> there's not a way, it's a path actually, that you can take that you pretty much collect a shit ton of fragments in a very quick amount of time. Now, granted... Depending upon how many people are here, we'll adjust the amount of fragments and all that kind of stuff that you'll be able to actually acquire. Obviously, the more people that are here, the more fragments are going to be getting grabbed at one current point in time. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to craft quite a few of these fucking things. Minecraft 10. And we are going to make our way up here. And then I will show you all the route. I just gotta remember how to get in here. Let 
There we go. Okay, now I don't remember exactly how to get into this place, but obviously, as you can see, you can just kind of jump into it. So this is kind of the start off point. There's an old chest sitting here. Get yourself some fragments. All right. Then you run over this way. And I believe there's... There's something over here, right? Like I said, it's been a little while, so you have to bear with me. Yep, there's the sack. Ooh. Okay, second time going down. I didn't see him. He kind of snuck up on us. So, it's my own damn fault for allowing that to happen. Hopefully, he runs away. Or at least goes away far enough that we have time to get the fuck out of the goddamn hole. Um, hmm. Okay, I don't really remember that being so damn difficult to get to. But... See if he comes chasing up after us. Okay, no. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's like the one off one to the route, if I'm not mistaken, because you come down around, you go up here, you run this way. There should be another one. Oh no, that's it. That is that one, okay. Like I said, you have to bear with me. It's been a while since I've done this. Here's the big guy that you can fight. <coughs> he does drop that crazy ass axe you see. You just kinda have to be ballsy enough to actually try to fight him. Which his axe does swing incredibly fast, so you want to avoid being hit by him at any cost. But as you can see, it's very doable. And you get all them fragments right there. And you want to go ahead and smack a heel on. And then you come down this way. You run in here. I don't think there's anything up that way. I'm pretty sure the fragment's down there. I know there's one this way too. Right? It should be sitting right there. Yeah. Okay. And then make our way this way. As you can see, we already have 36 fragments, which is fantastic. Do we have any more water? Oh, we don't. That sucks. We'll have to run back to our ship after making a round. There's one up there. I think this is new. It's, it's, it's fairly similar.
think there's even one below me, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, there is. Interesting. Um, ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Really, not need. Cool. Okay. <coughs> Get back out of here. So this has changed a little bit. But you just jump down here. my stamina back up a little bit. You come over this way. And there should be Mr. Skeleton Man. Yep, there he is. There's Bob. Say hi, Bob. Bob didn't give us anything. It sucks. It's okay. Bob's stingy sometimes. Now, as you guys can see, you can get a bunch of different kinds of shit from doing this. It's kind of all about... Oh, shit. Cactus. Please tell me there's a cactus around here somewhere. I do not see a cactus. This kind of sucks. Come on, just one stinking cactus. Now see, this is what happens when you uh, don't pay attention to your water and or don't bring enough water to actually survive. And now I try to limp back. Which may or may not work. Damn, that sucks. I'm not be doing very good at exp at showing you guys how to actually play the game. I'm doing really good at showing you guys how not to play the game, that's for sure. Watch the fucking Haraki fucking spawn back in. I'm probably gonna die here. This is probably gonna be where you guys see me die for the first time. Will not be the last time. This game is uh, very unforgiving, especially for dumbasses like me that 
or like, oh, I got enough time, I got enough water. No, I don't, because I'm running around and doing a whole bunch of shit, so. And right here is where we die. Oh. Okay. Oh, did we keep all of our shit? That's interesting. Give me water. Okay. Let's go get our shit. <coughs> As you can see, that kind of that stuff spawned back in already. Now granted, I was being very slow, there's a much faster way to get through all this. If you go down in the previous archive files of this game, you will see all the different places to go here. There's also a one right out there. I'm gonna go drop all this shit off. <coughs> on the walker before I continue. Whoops. Alright, let me just jump. Throw that in there. That is junk. Um, throw that in there. Throw this in there. Yeah, it's, it's probably... It's probably time for me to just go to the next area. In any event, I showed you guys that it's not exactly the best showcase of <coughs> what I could have shown you guys, but it is what it is. I think we're going to travel to that one. If we travel from the side, we need 35 water to do it, so. We will go ahead and start making our way around this place <coughs> and head on to the next area. Now, the reason I showed you, I showed you guys that just now is way back when, when I played originally, or the first time, I should say, not originally, when I played the first time, I, I'm pretty sure I spent upwards of like 10 hours in this area, and as a side effect of that, I ended up getting the, uh, the hangy walker, and pretty sure I had the Dehaney Walker almost upgraded before I left out of here and I had like every um, engram <coughs> or skill learned that you could at that point in time so it's definitely just something for everybody to remember that it does you can spend time in this area like it's not the tutorial area is meant for you to get used to all these places and I mean I, I and the, the real reason why I'm leaving so early because I could stay here for a while but the reason I'm leaving early is because one it makes better content to 
be a little bit more just go for it and two I, I just don't want to stay in the starter world there's not as much resources here stuff's harder to find there's not bone splinters which is something you do need especially when it comes to getting <coughs> stone and rock which I, I'll just say this stone and rock is probably or stone and bone splinters are like the two most important items early game <coughs> they allow you to build so much crap and do so many things man you, you just need them like not having them is just kind of it's just silly I got webbed would you fucking die Fuck out of here. Holy shit. There are a lot more random fucking Rupu running around than I remember. That's a, a, a very, very definite fact. Is cactus flesh. My inventory is that full. Interesting. No. <coughs> what does that do? Sure. I'm gonna eat quite a bit of cactus actually. just have no interest in staying in the tutorial world and grinding out like I did way back when you know it was fun back then but the other areas are so much more luscious and have tree galore and cactus galore everywhere and it's less barren I mean I would definitely say the tutorial for somebody just starting off that isn't it doesn't have any idea what you're doing in the game I think you definitely should spend some time in the tutorial world or area but I definitely I'm just confident enough that I don't think I need to and you know the game very well might prove me wrong shirt because that is actually going to be quite useful now which one is the crap there it is There we go. Fly by shirt. 
and then where do I need to go? Okay, so if we go this way. Oh, and I guess the other thing, too, I can say, that I should say is, um, the other good reason to wait until you make a Dehengi Walker, or the next stage of Walkers before you leave this area, is there are these beautiful little Liger creatures that spawn in, in every other world. And they are not very nice. Not very nice at all. Very mean little creatures. They're not even little. Extremely giant. Bye. <laughs> straight out this way. Well, I guess it's not really straight because I'm gonna have to wiggle between rocks, but. So the other good thing too about leaving this area is um, it's a lot easier to navigate, at least in the majority of the worlds that I've been in in this game, it's a lot easier to navigate throughout them versus here. I also don't know why I can't. Scroll out. It's kind of frustrating. I don't really like this view. Actually, that's something I probably can just look at. Controls. Uh, there we go. Okay. I can't necessarily say I like that button. It'll probably get changed for me, but for now it's fine. We'll just send it. <coughs> Okay. We have quite some time before we reach the other side. So I'll just take this time to uh, crawl over there. And I will meet you guys back here when I reach the exit point. So catch on a little bit. Alright, guys, we are almost to the edge of the map just uh, bring you guys along for the fast travel to the next area. <clears throat> Wherein I'll probably take a break from recording because my throat is starting to bother me from talking. <coughs> so. And no guys, don't worry, I don't have fucking COVID. I can still breathe. Just fucking coughing up phlegm every now and again it is very rough on your body. <clears throat> Alright, unsafe park walkers. Preferred walkers. You can mark you can mark park walkers as preferred to save them from burning up with the oasis. A hurling will a hireling will move them on your behalf to a nearby oasis in the east. The number of the number is limited. If there's spots left, your most recently used walker will be moved to. Okay. I can't go there. In the actual oasis. That sucks. Alright, well we have to go here anyway. Yep. <sighs> Alright everybody, so we made it to the new oasis. I'm going to go ahead and end the recording here and go get some nice warm soup to uh, help my throat from talking the last two hours. So I hope everybody has liked and enjoyed the episode so far. 
and we will continue where we left off in Oasis, where we will run to the little oasis right here, and probably duck in this little leg right here to gather some resources, upgrade ourselves, and then travel around and see what we can find around this area, get some more fragments, and continue. And then probably move to a new area just to keep progressing and seeing what's all going on. But real quick, what I'm going to show you guys is if you are playing this game, especially if you are playing solo, and you walk uh, this way <coughs> towards the edge of the map, I mean, once you reach the edge, gives you that. When you hit leave now, And you see where it says parked walkers? You now have one park walker on this edge of this area. And obviously you can see which one it is, and you can disembark on it. Or, from this area, you can also just quit. And now you are completely protected, everything you own is safe, and you don't have to worry about anything anymore. So... <laughs> that's it guys again hope you all liked and enjoyed the episode and i will catch you all next time thanks a lot for watching guys see you next time bye for now